Okay then, right, now we've got the XLR USB dynamic podcast microphone from Fifine. And these are three, these are other ones that I've got here that can be put into a, uh, on a boom arm. Now, what we're going to do is have a look what comes in the box with this. Now, this is rather expensive. It is uh, almost a hundred pound, but it has got some good features. Very good padding. That is the microphone itself. Very nice. Premium. Comes with an adapter below there for a uh, boom arm. And then it is also a Type C, which I do like. Type C below there. Very long cable. So, what we'll do is we will get the other ones out now so we can do a bit of a comparison. So, continue to watch. Okay, then, so we've got all three microphones out now. And of course, this one by here is from Fifine as well. Then we've got the podcast mic, and then we've got the Ma oh no, also streaming mic. Now, this one, yes, can be taken off the base like that. And also, this can too, because it does come with an adapter that you undo this. It comes with the adapter inside the box. And then you've got this one, then, which will connect to a boom arm, which is by there. Now, the differences between all three is, yes, they're all Type-C, but this one has an XLR port. Now, yes, I have done some XLR tuning. To me, it sounds okay. And overall... I'm not a pod. I don't do podcasts, so I wouldn't really know the difference. Other than the overall sound of the mic, I can't really tell you any different because it sounds okay to me. It sounds around the same, but overall, you know, it's a microphone. Now, of course, I've done quite a few microphones now, and you've got the Mo oh no, you've got this five fine one here. Then you've got this one, but here I've also got my Wave Three, which is. The most expensive but there is a big difference in prices this one is 50 that is 50 and this one's nearly 100 so these two these three are in the similar price category but of course what do they sound like well let's switch over to see which mic sounds the best so what are my initial thoughts on the five fine podcast microphone well so far the build quality is very nice the overall look is very nice the type c functionality is very good also you can have an xlr uh input as well which is very good this is a podcast microphone so i'm assuming it would have those type of features it does have volume control as well as vol uh, volume and mic control it sounds just fine okay well this is the ampli game fifine microphone so here we go how to enable XMP. Okay, well, this is the Maono DM30 ARGB microphone. So here we go. How to enable XMP. Okay, well, this is the uh, Wave 3 from Elgato. How to enable XMP. Right then, guys, what did you think of that? Now, yes, this microphone did sound rather nice. And yes, this is a very premium looking and the feel of course is premium. Now, yes, the microphone sounds okay. The XLR sounds fine to me as well. And the only thing I probably don't like is the price. I personally wouldn't spend this much on a microphone, well, podcast microphone. But saying that I did spend £160 on the Wave 3, but that was purely for videos. This, I don't use a boom arm when it comes to videos because I like my arms and everything to be accessible and I don't want a big boom arm here in my face. But overall, it's a very good microphone. I do like the overall build quality. Now, yes, I have got two here. <clears throat> the reason by being is because the first one they sent me was broken and the way they do it is they send me the money and I pay for it myself. Now, what I will say, the customer support that I had through Fifine now, because that I, I speak to Fifine through a different email. So the email that I use for my Amazon is completely different. So they wouldn't have known it was me. And of course, my, my main 
email I use for sending emails out is under Welshie Tech. So, of course, they wouldn't have known then either. So, I, a little bit of an incognito thing where I went under cover kind of and went through the customer service support. Now, what I will say is thank you to the customer service rep who went through it for me. I sent them the proof. What was actually wrong was this 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 one, the first one, was doing crackling when it came to trying to record. Now, I did send off recordings, and as soon as I sent off the recordings, they asked me if I tested both the XLR and the Type-C. Yes, both of them were doing the same thing, crackling, and it sounded very distorted when you talked. So they sent me out another one, and what I will say came very quick. And overall, the experience of customer service was very good. Now, what I will say <coughs> is that I certainly wouldn't pay this much for a, micro a podcast microphone because I don't do podcasting. But what I will say, it's got a very minimal design. It's very just minimal. It's got it's black and it looks very nice. It's got a premium feel to it. The packaging, as you saw in the rest of the video, is very premium and overall it's a very nice microphone so if you really want to buy one i will leave a link down below and as always big thank you to five fine for sending it out i do appreciate it. and also your customer service rep big 10 10 out of 10 for me you were fantastic for me even though you didn't know who i was so i hope you guys have a fantastic day don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and as always good bye